Hi, in this video I'll be showing you how to come up with the trapezium rule formula from scratch. Okay, firstly let me explain what the trapezium rule formula is used for. It's used to get the approximate area underneath curves. Let's say from x is b to x is a. So in this case we could use the trapezium rule formula to find the area underneath this curve from x is b to x is a. So the area would be in this region over here. Now for those of you who have studied calculus, you should know that the area underneath the curve can be measured using this formula right here. In this video though, I'll only be showing you how to derive the trapezium rule formula. Now, I'm going to begin by placing some trapeziums underneath this curve right here. Now, for the purpose of this video, you have to imagine that the width of each of these trapeziums is equal to one another. You also have to know that using this trapezium rule you'll never be able to get the precise area underneath curves because there will always be tiny little spaces left behind that haven't been measured underneath curves when you use the trapezium rule okay we're going to start off by naming the length of these trapeziums h so this is h this is h, this is h, and this is h. Now the formula for h is the length b minus the length a divided by the number of trapeziums. This formula will have to be used alongside the trapezium rule formula to find approximate areas underneath curves. Now please note that the area of a trapezium is height multiplied by c plus d over 2. If you'd like to find out how this formula can be derived, please visit the link below this video. Anyway, moving on, we're going to call this height over here y0. We're going to call this height over here y1. We're going to call this height over here y2. We're going to call this height over here y n minus 1 and we're going to call this height over here y n. Next I'm going to call this area here a1 I'm going to call this area here A2. I'm going to call this area here A3. And I'm going to call this area here A4. So the area underneath the curve from X is B to X is A is approximately A1 plus A2 plus a3 plus A4. We can see this by looking at this diagram over here. And you should also know that area is this formula here. That is why the area is approximately A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4. Now, since we've got this formula here, the question now becomes what is A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4. And what is A1? What is A2? And what is A3? And what is A4? Well, we know that the area of a trapezium is this right over here. We can use this formula to measure areas of trapeziums. So, let's talk about A1. A1 equals height which is the width h 
multiplied by C plus D. But C is Y0 and D is Y1. So the area of A1 is H multiplied by Y0 plus Y1 divided by 2. If you don't understand why this is the case, please look at this image again carefully. Look at area 1. C here should be Y0 and D here should be Y1. H is actually this width here and we've got divided by 2 in the formula for area of trapeziums. If you still don't understand why this is the case, after looking at this diagram, please visit the link below this video where I'll teach you how to find the formula for areas of trapeziums. Alright, let's now turn our focus to area 2. What is area 2? Well, area 2 is similar to area 1. But H in area 2 will be multiplied by Y1 plus Y2. And we're going to divide this value up here by 2. So you can check if this is correct by looking at the diagram up here. Now area 3 is equal to H multiplied by Y2 plus Yn minus 1 divided by 2. You can check if this is correct by looking at the diagram up here. Now finally, A4 is equal to H multiplied by Yn minus 1 plus Yn divided by 2. And you can also check if this is correct by looking at the diagram up here. So, once again, the area underneath the curve from X is B to X is A is approximately A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4. And this is approximately, let's get A1, H multiplied by Y0 plus Y1 divided by 2 plus H multiplied by Y1 plus Y2 divided by 2 plus H multiplied by Y2 plus Yn minus 1 divided by 2 plus H multiplied by Y n minus 1 plus y n divided by 2. Now let's factorize this formula. We'll bring h over 2 out and we'll multiply it by y0 plus y1 plus y1 plus y2 plus y2 plus y n minus 1 plus y n minus 1 plus y n in brackets. If we do this, we're left with h over 2 multiplied by y0 plus y1 plus y1 plus y2 plus y2 plus yn minus 1 plus yn minus 1 plus yn in brackets. And we can simplify this further. So we get h over 2 multiplied by y0 plus 2y1 plus 2y2 plus 2yn minus 1 plus yn in brackets. And if we simplify this further, we get h over 2 multiplied by 
y0 plus 2 multiplied by y1 plus y2 plus yn minus 1 plus yn. So here we've got 2 multiplied by y1 plus y2 plus yn minus 1 in brackets. As we had 2 multiplied by y1 and 2 multiplied by y2 and 2 multiplied by yn minus 1 over here. Now if you're going to use four trapeziums to measure approximate areas underneath curves then you may use this formula right over here. But if you intend on using more trapeziums then the area underneath the curve from x is b to x is a is approximately h over 2 multiplied by y0 plus 2 multiplied by y1 plus y2 plus dot 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 plus yn minus 1 plus yn in brackets and this is the trapezium rule formula and if you're wondering what this h is over here it is actually this h here in white it's the length b minus the length a divided by the number of trapeziums you are using so you have to plug this into this formula right over here and once again this is the trapezium rule formula that you can use to get approximate areas underneath curves. Finally, there's just one more thing left to say. The more trapeziums you use, the more accurate your result will become. In other words, the closer you'll get to the area underneath the curve from x is b to x is a. If you have any questions regarding this video, please leave your comments below and thank you very much for watching.